China is not the country it used to be uh, when they started uh, the market opening and liberalizations in the economic policies. Uh, China is a huge and important global player, but maybe sometimes China is not compliant with that kind of you know, uh, expectations a lot of countries would like to have about China. For example, we hope that China will be more aggressive and more active in reducing the tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Let's go to North Korea in our discussion. The President Trump years <clears throat> were, perhaps with hindsight, a little bizarre. So now how would you describe the relationship with North Korea? The attempts by President Trump was a rather new approach to North Korea, top-down, I should say. And of course, we hope that it might work, but it didn't so well. So last year, with a new administration coming into power, we put a lot of emphasis on building our deterrence capabilities in the right way. But we are not closing the dialogue channels uh, how would you, for North Korea. How would you describe the current level of dialogue such as it may not exist. Korea and our closest ally, the United States, their policies have never changed at all. It's North Korea who should change. And we already made public and made an announcement on a new policy initiative. That means as long as North Korea is abstaining from their very, you know, strong and ambitious uh, nuclear ambitions, that's okay for United States and for Korea to open our dialogue. But up to now, uh, it's uh, quite a pity that North Korea ha has not responded uh, in a quite a, you know, desirable way. You're being, as one would expect, very diplomatic in this regard. Things, and I mean, <laughs> They're not staying the same, they're getting worse. So in that regard, can you see a scenario where you would either want your own nuclear capability or you would want the United States to restation nuclear capability here? The survey in Korea definitely showed that we should rearm ourselves. I mean, we should in nuclear capability terms, we should go farther. I don't think it's the right way for us to do. We should work together with the international community, including our close ally, United States, and possibly with, with, with Japan and other uh, countries in the world, so that we will put a lot of continuous pressure on North Korea to denuclearize and we'd like to let North Korea know that developing and advancing nuclear capabilities will not guarantee the peace and prosperity in their country and also on the Korean Peninsula and globally. You know, I was thinking, just as we were discussing North Korea and nuclear weapons, the events in Ukraine where Putin is not even tactfully talking about nuclear and tactical nuclear weapons. So now I ask, will you consider sending lethal weapons or lethal materials to Ukraine? Uh, not now, I think, but we are quite supportive of Ukraine. And this year we decided that we will increase our support in the amount of 130 million US dollars and uh, we are trying to support them in terms of electricity generation capabilities and so on. But whether we will go into some lethal weapon support, uh, we are not yet decided on that issue.